God on his mountain. Go ahead. Continue. Mm -hmm. But Moses said to God, if I come to the Israelites and, so, and say to them, the God of your ancestors has sent me to you, and they ask me, what is his name? What shall I say to him? God said to Moses, I am who I am. He said, Father, thus you shall say to the Israelites, I am, I am has sent me to you. God also said to Moses, thus you shall say to the Israelites, the Lord, the God of your ancestors, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob have sent me to you. This is my name forever, and this my title for all generations. Huh? This is my title. I was waiting for you to get to that. This was my title mm -hmm. for what? All generations. Yeah. Ain't got nothing to do with Old Testament and New Testament now. This is my title. I am that I am. That whole dialogue between Moses and the bush is Jesus. Don't give it to me, though. Hold that mic there, Pearly. No, I'm through it. <laughs> Are you all getting this? <laughs> the dialogue between Moses and the burning bush is Jesus. This title shall be for all generations. I am. You just got to hear him say, I am the first. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It should. And that shows growth as we study. He said, learn of me. We are learning of him. Oh, yeah. We are learning who he is. We are learning that he didn't just pop up in a little manger. Mm -hmm. That's the great mystery. This great God that destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah talked to Moses from a burning bush that was not consumed, wrestled with Jacob. Turn to that right quick. Wrestled with Jacob. Chapter 32, Genesis, excuse me. Yeah, thank you. Genesis 32, verse 24. Pearly still got the mic? Yeah, but I'm getting ready to give it up. Come on, Pearly. Work it, Pearly. I'm getting ready to give it up. Okay. Don't give it up, Pearly. Genesis 32. Genesis 32. And why? Verse, started verse uh, 24. 24. Verse 24. Let's see. Uh, 24 wait a minute. Okay, Walker, wait a minute. Hold on. Verse 24. Jacob was left alone, and the man wrestled with him until day. day. Back up to 22, Pearly, 22? to give it a little context. Okay. The same night he got up. Were you ready? Mm -hmm. The same night he got up and took his 12 wives. How many? Two. I'm sorry. Two. And his two maidens and his eleven children and crossed the ford of the what is that word? Ja, Jabak? Jabak. Jabak. Jabak yeah. Uh-huh. He took them and sent them across the stream, and likewise everything that he had. Jacob was left alone, and a man wrestled with him until daybreak. Oh. Okay. When the man saw that he did not prevail against Jacob, he struck him on his hip socket. And Jacob's hip was put out of joint as he wrestled with him. Then he said, Now, Let hold on right there. Before we go any further. He hit the man in his testicular his socket. spot. Right. Socket. Which every man in here knows will make you limp. <laughs> he did not just grab him in the thigh and pinch his muscle. Okay, go right on, Pearlie. And Jacob's hip was put out of joint as he wrestled with him. Then he said, let me go for the day is breaking. But Jacob said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. Jacob's hip was put out of joint as he wrestled with him. Then he said, let me go for the day is breaking. But Jacob said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. So he said to him, what is your name? And he said, Jacob. Then the man said, you shall no longer be called Jacob, but Israel for you have, what is it, striving? Struggling. Struggling. Okay. With God huh. and with humans. Underline that. For you have struggled Struggle. with, with God. With God and with humans. All right. Hold it right there. I want us to get this. No, hold that mic. You're doing great, brother. No, Listen at this. Now, you know, God could have killed him. Quickly. But it goes to show us that God does not mind us struggling with him 
wrestling with him sometime. Are we interested enough to hold on to him and say, I ain't going to turn you loose till you bless me? That's what that's all about. This ain't about an even match. This was just, just sometime the Lord, will, he'll permit us. So when you hear people say, you ain't supposed to question God. God wants us to wrestle with him sometime. Absolutely. Now, if we get out of hand, he does know how to break us down. But what do you really want? He, he wanted him to bless him. Now, only God can bless or curse. Now, we can cuss which is used profanity. But ain't nobody in here can curse. Nobody, nobody can curse you or bless you like God can. Secondly, only God can change your name. Now we know this is Jesus because if you remember in the New Testament, Jesus looks at Cephas and changes his name from Cephas to Peter. Jesus changed his name to fit the personality. No longer will I call you Jacob... No longer will I call you a deceiver. No longer will I call you a thief. I'm going to call you a prince. I'm going to call you Israel, L, E L, because you have struggled with God. I'm going to bless you. Go ahead, Pearly. When Jacob asked him, please tell me your name. But he said, Ha, ha, ha. Who are you? Who are you? I know you I know you're somebody. I know I know you're somebody special. That's why I want you to bless me. I know you're somebody special because I left home laughing because I had walked off with my brother's birthright and his blessing. I, I, I left home laughing, now I'm going home limping. Who are you? Who are you? Who who are you? Go ahead, Pearly. Who are you? Okay. okay. Why why is it that you ask my name? And there he blessed him. So Jacob called the place, is that Pinnacle? Peniel. Peniel. Hold it. Who are you? Why do why, why you want to know my name? It ain't time for me to reveal that yet. Isaiah has not yet come on the scene. Later on, Isaiah will say unto us, hmm. and his name shall be called Wonderful. Jacob wanted to know then, right. who are you? What's right. your name? Why do you want to know my name? So since he never gave him his name, Jacob called the place whatever, Pen Penuel, Penuel, which means okay. what? Penuel, whatever. Facing God. God. Okay. I have seen God. Okay. I have seen God's face. But it couldn't have been God the Father because no, no, man. no man has seen God at any time. So it had to be Jesus. Y'all talk to me now. Huh? Okay. So Jacob called the place, whatever you said it was, Pen Penny Y'all, whatever, uh -huh, uh -huh. saying, For I have seen God face to face, and yet my life is preserved. The sun rose unto him as he passed, Penny limping because his hip, therefore to his day the Israelites do not eat the um, thigh muscle that is on the hip socket mm -hmm. because the it struck Jacob on the hip socket at the thigh muscle. Is that enough? Somebody else needs to be reading, okay? No, I'm no. No, I'm just Pearly doing a good job. I was just not prepared to read this evening, okay? Turn to Genesis eighteen. You're doing good right there, Pearly. Hang on in now. We're gonna close here in a minute, Pearly. We're gonna close out with you. Genesis eighteen. Is everybody seeing Jesus? Yes. This is what we're trying to do. See Jesus. Okay. Genesis 18, verse 23. What does it say? Pearly, you're doing great. Yeah, okay. Verse 21. T verse 23. 23. Verse 23. When Abraham came near and said, Will you indeed sweep away the righteous with the wicked? 